I mean, we can just go straight to questions. Kim rarely presses. Were you shocked when she opened the second half pressing? No, I mean, I think, um, you know, when you're down and you're trying to create some energy and create some pace, um, you know, so I think we expected it a little bit because when you're down, you got to do something different. So I thought they really um, did a really good job with it. Seems like you guys mixed up your defenses a little bit early in the game. Just talk about how your ladies came out seemed like still continuing to ride high over the four games that you had won previously coming in. Yeah, I mean, you know, we were trying to uh, honestly go a little more zone because we're in foul trouble. So um, I think everything that we could do to try to, you know, weather, um, get to the half with um, some foul trouble, especially at the five spot. And Aaliyah had two. Um, but, yeah, we, we tried to change our defenses in the second half. We just weren't as effective. Uh, Coach Poa seems to be playing a little larger role in their team than they did maybe when they played you the first time in Tuscaloosa. Is she making a difference? Are you noticing anything there? Yeah, I mean, she just does a great job of really um, making great decisions. You know, she does a good job of getting to the rim. thought she hurt us a couple times on laying it up. You know, she shoots the three pretty well, and you have to guard her straight up. But, yeah, I mean, I think she really um, is doing a great job for them. She's much more of a presence for them on the defensive end. And so I think a lot happens when um, she comes into the game and they're much better defensively. I think that's pretty obvious. Any more questions? How did you keep the lid on LSU for so long? I mean, I did a really good job the first half. It just really, they never got in rhythm. Well, I think, you know, when you um, take care of the basketball and you don't give up easy baskets um, and you can get some stops and get your transition game going. But, I mean, it was a tell of two halves. Exactly what we did well in the, in the first and second quarter, we didn't in the third and the fourth. So, I think you just have to credit LSU. I mean, they made a much bigger run to finish the game than we did to start the game. Um, they were tougher. They were more physical. They got to the free throw line. They annihilated us on the boards. We had 12 second half turnovers that led to 23 points. You can't come on the road in the SEC and do that. So I think it's really easy to criticize and be negative about what we didn't do. Let's credit what LSU did. We'll learn from this and grow from this. And you know, our goal is to, we had three games in seven days. Um, so it's important that we get home and get on a regular routine with the bye week and get ready to beat Auburn. I mean, our season, everything is in front of us. So we've had so much positive, and I don't want today to take away from the run that we're on right now and continue to just regroup and learn from it. It's like I told our kids, the only response to today is to learn from it. And so we'll learn from it and get better from it. We've got some young post players that got a lesson, lesson 101 today. <laughs>